Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome to Last Generate Survival. So today we're located in our free to play account. Currently we are level 82. And I've been thinking about it for quite a while. Why not get an ATV here on this account? Probably it's never going to happen because as a free to play player, you'll have to play this game for a couple of years. However, why not set ourselves here an insane goal? Maybe in five years from now, Happy Cyric will get an ATV on this free to play account. However, before we even start thinking about that ATV, there are lots of other things that I need to do here. I mean, before we uh, start talking about any of those other things, I just want to show you something epic. So check this out. When you go to the events, we have this Bunker Bravo event and if you want to get your ATV, you'll have to start clearing Bunker Bravo, especially during this uh, event, because it's going to be a lot easier. You'll be able to also get here some couple of carbon composites if you want to assemble some mods for your weapons from clearing the second floor Bunker Bravo. And yeah, just clear the second, third and the fourth floor, and that way you'll get some ATV parts. However, on this free to play account, it'll take us quite a while until we start clearing that Bunker Bravo. I do believe we have... That's not going to be enough weapons. We do have a decent amount of melee weapons. We could probably scramble and find some more weapons inside of our inbox. We could perhaps open up a crater to a bunker alpha and get some more guns. I still don't think that'll be enough to clear the the bunker bravo event however i still don't think i should be even working towards that because i haven't even progressed a lot in the survivor's path so before we start doing anything we need to start working on the survivor's path because i want to unlock the transport up inside of the transport up you can get atv transmissions if you're very 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 lucky and uh, yeah, that'll help us build the ATV because the biggest bottleneck for free-to-play players are going to be the ATV transmissions. So, that is pretty much it. So, probably let's go to our settlement and let's see what the settlement even wants us to do. I haven't been there in the settlement in this free-to-play account for quite a while. But hey, welcome to those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome everybody. Glad to see all of you here. Today we are playing here on this free to play account and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pinned comments down below and you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And to those that are here in the chat, welcome, welcome everybody. I'm glad to see all of you here. It's... Maybe we'll do more live streams like this. Maybe we'll start like some sort of new series. Maybe this live stream will go to the new playlist to the new series like, hey, try Road to ATV. Road to the ATV. Maybe that's what we're gonna do. I don't know. We'll see. However, let's get some daily rewards, and that's why I said that the settlement is kind of nice. I don't really grind a lot in the settlement, especially here on this free-to-play account. However, daily, you can log in here, and you can get a decent amount of planks and decent amount of iron. And if you do not upgrade the settlement, you will be able to accumulate here a decent amount of resources. However, now they want me to build the assembly desk, and now I remember why I stopped grinding here. I don't want to play in the settlement that much. However, I need to build the assembly desk, so let's probably do something about that. And if it doesn't work out, I'll need to build a little bit bigger settlement. And that's it. I just don't have a lot of planks. I don't have a lot of stones here on this free-to-play account. So there's that. Now, let's try to build the assembly room. I need to build the control desk. And for that, I need pine beams and aluminum plates. Oh, Lord. We can get those aluminum plates. Uh, where can I get them? At the base. Perhaps if I'll have any aluminum plates. And then I'll need to get some pine beams. Okay, I only have five pine beams. We need more. Um, assembly. And we need six pine beams. So how about we get another stack of planks. Let's get more pine beams here on this account. So little by little, we'll start grinding here. Perhaps one day we will get the ATV here. I really doubt it. Like, I'm, I'm telling you. Like, probably 99% chance we're not going to get an ATV here. I think it's just a fun... Just a fun goal, and that's it. I do believe that we should be able to get the drone. It's not that extremely difficult, so we are going to be getting that. But about the ATV, we'll see. But why not have an insane goal? Actually, wait, I can get these pine planks with me. I can drop some more things here. But yeah, we just need to progress a little bit further to this silly survivor's path, right? Once we are done with this, we'll be able to do other things. We'll be able to start going to the laboratory and other stuff. I really don't want to go to the laboratory right now. I'm not really 100% sure if I can start getting uh, drone parts from the laboratory. Like those, whatever they're called. The flight controllers. I'm not 100% sure that I can get flight controllers without, without, without doing the survivor's path first. So I want to do the survivor's path first. And uh, yeah, I'd also like to upgrade my minivan to be able to do some more expeditions, but I'm not really going to waste these resources on that unless I get 
more loot. And hey, that's about it. I'm gonna get a stack of iron just so that I can bring it back to the base. I'll get a little bit of aluminum. Let's go back to our main base and let's start getting more loot, ladies and gentlemen. Because this account is all about loot. It is all about, you already know what, Bunker Alpha. Instead of the ATV, get the drone. Seems more logical, says some guy. Thank you, some guy. I was just, I was ready to get the ATV. I was like this close to my ATV, but you told me to get the drone. I'm gonna get the drone. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I know what's going on. Thank you. I wasn't sure what to do. I wanted to get the ATV, but hey. Maybe it's better to get the drone. Okay, let's drop the resources here. And uh, the iron goes there. There we go. So I only have one aluminum. Oh, actually, we do have more aluminum plates. Oh, it's not that bad. We have 17 of these aluminum plates. Buggers, I might even have some more in the workbench that I have here. There we go. We have nine iron plates only. Okay. What are you able to do with a drone? Clear the transport hub, which is going to be probably maybe useful if you want to get the ATV. We're talking about the ATV. I'm only level 82, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot even do any raids. And yet, here I am. Another thing that I'd love to do in this account is assembling a grip mod. I still don't have any grip mods. And uh, it shouldn't be that difficult to assemble it. I just need more bolts. I need more springs, and I have enough of those. I have enough bolts. I have enough of these things, and I have enough aluminum plates, so I could get a grip mod on my M16. However, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to assemble that stuff yet. What we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, you already know, Bunker Alpha. It's, pretty, it's our free-to-play account. It's all about Bunker Alpha. You want the ATV? You got to put in some work. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the hours. Um, how many melee weapons do I need? I'll take these things. We could build another crowbar or something. It shouldn't be that expensive. We have a little bit of leather. Uh, do I need a crowbar, though? Maybe I'll get my shovels instead. I'd actually... I'd prefer to use shovels. It's a little bit faster than using those crowbars. I'll get a saw blade mace. Or some of you call it saw blade. Let's get a saw blade. Let's get a sign. And one more machete. That's a lot of melee weapons for the farm... Uh, for the bunker... Alpha. And after that, we are going, perhaps, to the farm. Do I need any armor with me? Mm. This armor will break, and I'll need another set. So let's just get this random set here. That'll be something, and that is it. We just need some healing items, and let's dip out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dip out of here. ATV journey begins. Every bunker alpha gets us a little bit closer to our ATV. Yes. Uh, beans. Wait, I don't really have any more med kits or carrots. That is sad. I only have this amount of carrots. Perhaps I've cooked something. I'll need to go and uh, farm more meat. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll have to do. Maybe I'll have some consumables already here. Like some steaks. I only have eight raw steaks. Let's get them. Let's start drying that stuff. Say maybe they will even farm in this account. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I really don't want to use my first aid kits. However, I don't see any other... ...option, do I? Got beans, I got that. Maybe we have some healing items at Bunker Alpha, whatever. I'm gonna get a stack of first aid kits that should be more than enough. However, healing with first aid kits on this account is going to be very... Wasteful. I mean, first aid kits are always wasteful. Nobody really uses those first aid kits perfectly because it's almost impossible. Unless you're in Bud Kralfa, so maybe I'll be able to use them perfectly there. But anywhere else, first aid kits are borderline impossible. Whatever, let's hop on the chopper and let's go to our, eight, uh, to our Bud Kralfa. As a free-to-play player, which is better, brown cards or green cards in Blackboard PD? Open up green cards. You only should be opening up brown cards when you're like level 20 or 30, when you're just beginning the game and you can't really do anything else. Then I guess opening up a couple of brown cards is fine. If you don't want to play the game for too long, if you have five minutes a day, then opening up a brown card is better than nothing. However, you should not be opening up brown cards. You should be opening up green cards. But yeah, as I said, brown cards are okay if... 
you play for like five minutes a day and you just want to get at least something, then brown cards are better than nothing. Which I might open up brown cards today. It depends. Maybe we'll open up green cards. It depends how how much time I'll spend in the PD. If you have five brown, then you cannot open up green. If you have ten brown, then exchange them for green. It's that simple. But open up green. 99% of the time, you should be opening up green cards. Okay, we need the password, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody gave me the password. I have to do everything myself. Let's go on Discord. So the reason why we are also playing here on the Street Apply account, because I feel like it's nice to take a break from our main account once in a while. I... It's fun to play on the on our main account. We are still going to definitely continue playing there. I think just for a while, especially when there are no new updates and nothing else, I think it's fine to, to grind on the free-to-play account. It's more fun for me. We have... Uh, at least some goals. So there's that. Okay, so today's password is uh, 96813. 96813. There we go. Let's confirm that. And let's get out of here. It's like, I think you should continue with the Westland Survival Series. You just started right now. Westland is the highest quality game in genre of Last Day on Earth, says uh, Chamur. Maybe we will play some more last a uh, more westland survival again i cannot promise anything perhaps we will perhaps we won't hey, look at the tickets that we got here ridiculous look at all the loot that we have in bunker alpha we rich actually i did have enough guns for the bunker bravo event here however clearing the bunker bravo on this account seems a little bit premature so maybe let's not do it kind of repetitive on the main account says mr dunhill i mean it's last on earth it's always repetitive that's the game it is a repetitive game. There's nothing we can do about it. It will be repetitive. But... Yeah. We'll see. Maybe I won't play on the free-to-play account here anymore. It all depends. I don't know on what. We'll see. It depends how fun it is. Because I'm more excited to clear Bunker Alpha on this account during the live stream than... Clearing Bunker Alpha on my main account. I'm here to get something. Okay, like, all right, let's get more bandages. I, as I said, I want to save these first eight kits for as long as I can. I don't want to use them. They're inefficient. And whatever bandages will be fine. And do I need a gun? Let's get a Glock here. We don't really need Glocks for Bunker Alpha, but I'll take one. Yeah, there we go, ladies and gents. Let's just go deeper. Let's meet some creepers. Same shit, different day. That's last in Earth, says some guy. It do be like that. It's like level 5 walls or settlement. Level 5 walls or settlement. Obviously, the settlement is better than level 5 walls. Level 5 walls are absolutely useless. You should not be building them. Alrighty. Let's open that up. And wait, we had enough red tickets. So we're going to clear the second and the third floor. I'm not probably going to be clearing the, the other floor. It would be fun. You know what? Like, if all I did is... Uh, just play on my free-to-play account. Like, if I dedicated 100% of my focus on the free-to-play account, we would progress here very fast. Like, extremely fast. And still on the free-to-play account, right? Like, I'd be able to start working towards the steel walls. Like, it'd be fun. Grinding for something new. We have different goals. It would be fun. However, is it worth it? We already... We've done all of that stuff on the main account. Like, why would I repeat that from zero? I don't know. We'll see. It's like, did you try the game Pal World? I've heard of the Pal World. It's like Pokemon. I think we've spoken about that yesterday. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps. Everybody seems to like Pal World. That's all I'm saying. Everybody loves Pal World. It looks weird. Like, on first glance, it looks weird. I wasn't never into Pokemon, but everybody that has played Pal World said that Pal World is amazing. It's a nice survival game. Yeah, but it'll get boring really fast to some guy. It will get boring really fast, or I might clear another Bud Kralf on my main account and do another useless raid. Like, our main account has been completely maxed. We didn't need a single bolt or a single new resource on the main account for, like, three, four years. I'm just grinding there for the sake of content. I don't need anything on the free to, on the main account, so it is it is more fun for me to grind here than on the main account. However, I'll keep grinding on the main account because the content is better on the main account than here. The free-to-play account is here for my mentality, I'd say. Just so that 
I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just stop playing here and we'll just grind on the main account. We'll see. It's just a test. It's just a thought. Well, we don't have any new updates. You have to come up with more content. And doing another raid is, is viable. We will be definitely doing more raids. It's just that at least once or twice a week, I'd like to maybe grind on this free-to-play account. Take a break from another useless raid. I'm gonna fail here. I always fail this room. Okay, I did not get hit in the face. That is cool. I think I need to uh, use the saw blade mace on this dude. Then I can get my pipe here real quick. I can get this fast biter. And I can let this dude a little bit closer. This is the OG wall tricking place, probably. Even in one of the little animated series that developers have released, they've shown people wall trick this frenzy giant in this room. Okay. Let's get this dude, ladies and gentlemen. Was I too late? No, nah, no, nah, we just began, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the beginning. The beginning of our journey. Like, basically, day one. Road to ATV, day one. That's what it is. A uh, red ticket? Yes, indeed. This is a red ticket. It's like, have you ever played or watched Yu-Gi-Oh? I have watched Yu-Gi-Oh. A little bit. I wouldn't say that I was a massive fan. I have watched some of it. I have had Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait, can I Waltrick them here? Perhaps. Okay, let's try to deal at least with one of them. Yeah, this is a better way to Waltrick them probably on this door than Trying to wall trick them in their room. So probably clear this room first. In any case, let's get a pipe. If you want to know how to clear Von Kralf as efficiently and other stuff, make sure to check out everything you need to know about Lash. And our link is down in the description. That video will lead you to other videos. And you'll learn a bunch of other cool stuff. And make sure to check out the free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. And currently, we are continuing this free-to-play playlist. This is another live stream that will go to the free-to-play playlist. What do you recommend to bring to the farm? I just literally answered that question. Check out the free-to-play playlist and the everything you need to know video about Last Day on Earth. Uh, the link is down in the description. You'll learn everything you need to know. Plus, make sure to read the description. There is a big FAQ section that'll teach you some things. I remember that you said the ATV in your video five years later. It will be maybe. Maybe we will get the ATV five years later. Maybe. Five years from now, if I'm still alive... Then maybe then we'll have that ATV. Perhaps. Is it possible to build your ATV as a free-to-play player? I don't know. It's going to be very difficult. It'll take a really, 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 really long amount of time. An insane amount of time. You need to get 10 ATV transmissions. Like, it is possible. Like, I can say it with a straight face. As a free-to-play player, it is possible, especially now with these ATV events, with these Bunker Bravo events, excuse me. It is possible to get 30 gas cylinders. Like, easy. You can clear Bunker Alpha for 30 times easy now. Even without that event, free-to-play players can clear it, except it'll take... It'll be much harder. But during this ev these events, it is much easier to... to clear Bunker Bravo. However, your bottlenecks will be the ATV transmissions. Those things are ridiculously difficult to get. Okay, they're not synced. Right, I'll just deal with one of them fast enough. And now I can deal with another dude. Thank you very much, another red ticket. Let's open that up, let's get... Uh, base. I'm gonna use another bandage. Let's heal up. And hey, let's wall trick this one more frenzy giant. And today we'll be able to open up another red crate. We'll get more guns and we need these guns. We're gonna start saving them up because we will be clearing the laboratory. We'll need to clear that thing 10 times. That stuff will require a decent amount of comments. 
Did you see I left you a very long uh, comment with information under your Westland survival video? I hope you see it. I'm gonna definitely check it out. I haven't checked out every single comment in the Westland survival video. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die! I survived. Fuggers. Everything's cool, ladies and gentlemen. Everything was under control. That scream was scripted scream. That was a fake scripted scream, ladies and gentlemen. That wasn't real anyway, so don't worry about it. Everything's calculated. And again, I'm not even sure if I will be doing more Westline survival content. It's uh, probably a cool game, but that... That puppy? That kitten that you could save, right? That cat that requires $1.99 to save it. It was very predatory. Like, it's... It's very weird because of that reason. Like, literally because of that reason, I don't want to play more Westline survival. I'm not going to lie. Just because of that thing, just because of that pop-up, I kind of don't want to play it anymore. So maybe we will do more Westland survival, or maybe we won't. The video hasn't gotten 10k views yet. If it doesn't get 10k views in like one or two days, chances are I'm not going to continue the series. So, there's that. Unless I'm really, really into the game. I'm working on the acid bath right now. The air filters take like eight bunkers. The grind is real. It takes quite a while to get the air filters, but hopefully you'll be able to get them. What do you rate last in its survival? I need to know this. I don't know. Game. It's a game. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Let's actually close this valve. Let's, let's open it. Let's close the valve. And let's deal with the Toxica bomb. So yeah, maybe there will be more Westland survival. Maybe there will be one more video on it. Maybe two more videos. But as I said, definitely don't expect ten more videos on Westland survival. Like max maybe or two, three more videos. Like that's in the best case scenario. In an average scenario, there won't be any more videos. Or maybe there will be, I have no idea. In any case, it is what it is. I still have nothing against Westline Survival. I think it's a fun game. Despite that 199 pop-up that it requires, that tells you to save the cat. On oh, no, um, my armor, I left it at the top floor. Oh Lord. It's like do the arena event with the free to play account. The arena event is not worth it for me at this point. Oh, actually, I don't have my tactical backpack. Maybe we will do it? Actually, we could do the arena. Wait, do I have the... What rewards can I get from my arena event? Oh, I can get these three special forces packs. Wait a minute, homie. We can get a tactical backpack here on this account. I just want to see what other packs... Have I opened up more of these silence packs or whatever they're called? Let's go to the equipment. There we go. These are the special forces packs. And I've already opened up three of those packs. So I need to... I will get a guaranteed backpack if I do the arena event today. We could do the arena the arena event on this account. We could definitely do it and I'll get a tactical backpack here. We can get it today. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe. It takes a while to do it. But we might actually do it. It'll be worth it for the... Oh, the what? My armor... My poor armor. Okay, now we can wall trick this dude a lot easier. It's like in mobile when you try to wall trick zombies, always true and hatred. Don't stay behind the wall door. It is still possible to wall trick uh, to wall trick in mobile. A lot of people wall trick in mobile. It's like, do you know what are the chances to get an ATV transmission in the transport box? I don't know. I have no idea. Even if it's like 5%, 10%, what does that number tell you? It tells you absolutely nothing. So I don't know what are the chances to get that ATV transmission. It's pretty rare. Some of you told me that you have gotten it. So I believe it's possible to get it, but I think it is pretty rare. I do believe it is pretty rare. I'm 
gonna get another armor set. We have already gotten 12 green. That's epic. Green tickets for life. It's like, when is the new update version coming out? I don't have a slightest clue when we'll get the new update in Last Night Survival. The sooner the better. I don't know when, though. But the sooner the better. ADB transmissions are rare, but you get them at the most unexpected moments. That is true. And you'll need 10 of those unexpected moments. You need a lot of moments to assemble to get 10 ATV transmissions. It is possible to get one ATV transmission. It's a chore, but you can get it. You can get two or three of them, but getting all 10 is... Uh, is... Probably the biggest challenge in last generation, especially as a free-to-play player. Like, if you buy season passes, you can definitely get them. Chamor, I saw your comment before, but hey, I'm gonna read it again. I think that your offer comes across uh, was a one-time offer. You won't see it again for a very long time. I also came across and I couldn't get it. Okay, I mean, I get it. It's cool. That offer from the Westland Survival, it's not that it's a one-time offer. It's... It's... As I said, it's predatory and kind of cringe. I just started playing the game. I've played it for 10 minutes and I've gotten an offer for 199 saying, Hey, to save this cat, you gotta pay 199 Please save the cat, sir. I mean, I don't think I have to explain to you why that looks bad and that sounds bad. Uh, we've gotten the armor set. I guess we can go deeper. Okay, let's go back to the second floor. Again, I don't mind that pop-up. You know, there was another pop-up that, hey, buy the tactical backpack. You can't get all the loot. You can get the backpack to store more loot, which, I mean, whatever. It's it's also an offer, but it's like, it's not that offensive to me. It is, it's, maybe the word offensive is not the right one, but like, playing on my emotions. Like, hey, save this cat. It's only one ninety nine, Sir, please save this cat. I need your help. Like, why? Why? It just sounds weird. But on that note, we close the topic. And uh, I can open up another topic, ladies and gentlemen. Remember when we spoke about guacamole? Not actually guacamole, but avocados. Uh, two days ago or whatever, I've gotten three avocados. And today I tried making the avocado toast for my first time in my life. I've never eaten avocados before. I've tried my first avocado and they are horrible. That's all I have to say. They are terrible. Avocados are like... I know. The humans shouldn't consume them. That's all I have to say. Humans should not consume avocados. That is my opinion. That is my verdict. However, I still have two more avocados. Actually, I have two and a half avocados. I've eaten only half of it. So I still have two and a half more avocados. I will finish them. However, I don't think they were meant for human consumption. That is my opinion. Did you fix the phone screen yet? It's been fixed for, for many... For many weeks now. Yes, thanks. If <laughs> we're asking, yes, I fixed the phone. It's better than ever. When are you gonna unlock the northern places on the free to play account? Probably not gonna worry about it because I don't really care about the the walls. As soon as I want to assemble my level three, level four walls, I'll have to unlock the northern locations, so maybe then. But as of right now, we have other things to do. You cannot go wrong by clearing Bunker Alpha. Like, you can do whatever other things, but if you're not- if you're not clearing Bunker Alpha, you will not progress in this game, period. So... If you're not really sure what to do in the game, always clear Bunker Alpha, and then you'll be able to do other things. Should I craft mods in my free-to-play account? Yes, you should craft the right mods. So check out the description. There will be a video about the mods or check out everything you need to know about Last and Earth. And that video will lead you to other mod videos. Or go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric Mods. And there will be two videos that... Those two videos that I'm talking about, they will explain everything you need to know about the mods. And which mods you should craft. Because you shouldn't probably craft every mod. As that is very expensive. And you won't really have enough resources for it. However... 
Just craft the right mods and uh, you'll be good to go. Are we getting Happy Psych weekly vlogs? Are you sure your avocado is ripe? Yes, I am pretty certain avocado is ripe. I don't, I don't even know how to describe the avocado taste. Like it's, I don't even know if it's the texture or is the avocado. Obviously, I mushed it, right? You mush it with the fork. Whoops, I got hit in the face. You mush it with the fork. You add some salt, some pepper, and the amount of salt I had to add for me to to, to make that avocado edible was uh, ungodly. I added more salt. I'm like, hey, maybe I should add a little bit more. I try the avocado, I get the shivers. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll add a bit more salt, then a bit more salt, then a bit more salt. And then it's like I'm just eating the salty paste, and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of decent. I'll definitely give it another go. I mean, I'll have to give it another go. I'll give like, what, five more goes at it? Because my, the, yeah, I'll have to finish those avocados. So. There's that. Will you make more surrounded videos? Perhaps one day in the future. Cannot promise anything. Sodium poisoning. Well, it's not like I used the, the, that insane amount of salt. Maybe I've over, uh, I have over exaggerated a bit, but I still use a lot of salt there. I can still feel the salt in my mouth from that. So maybe I did use too much. Maybe I will get sodium poisoning. I don't know. On that note, that's why I'm drinking more water. I don't think you can flush out all the sodium with water, but I mean, it'll. I don't think it'll make work. Make it worse. Is eating avocado worth it? I have no idea. It's like, why are you even eating avocados? Everybody says that they're healthy. Maybe if I eat avocados, maybe I'll live forever. If I live forever, that means more last Earth videos. So I'm investing into last Earth survival by eating avocados. That doesn't make much sense when you think about it. However, that's the goal. Okay, it's a very tricky place to wall trick. How, what, what if I let him come? Oh, there we go. That's better. Homie didn't go forward. So it's all fine. Never had an avocado. This is some guy. I really don't know how to describe the taste of it. I mean, I really have no idea how to describe the avocado taste. Like, we still don't have the burglar perk. Ridiculous. Um, it's very cold, and uh, I don't know. I, I really have no idea how to describe it. Maybe some of you can help me in the chat here. How would you describe avocado taste? Like, I don't know. It tastes something, but I'm not sure how to describe the taste, really. It's weird. Where's the best way to get gas cylinders? Uh, I know Bunker Bravo. Any tips? And that's it. Bunker Bravo. During the Bunker Bravo event today, there is the Bunker Bravo event. That's where you get the cylinders. They're difficult to get there. The most, uh, they are very difficult. Yes. And you need 30 of them. So Bunker Bravo event. Bunker Bravo. From the Bunker Bravo thing, but to make it easier, do it during the Bunker Bravo event. There we go. Like squish and kind of dry and fruity. Well, I wouldn't say that avocado is fruity. Whoops. I wasted way too many first aid kits, aka bandages. Like grass, it is a little bit grassy, yes. It is grassy. Mushy is what I can think of it. It is mushy and grassy. <laughs> green, it tastes green. It's like, have you seen Pal World? It's a straight up carbon copy of Ark Survival and Pokemon. Uh, yes, I've seen Pal World. It is. If it had any other style, I would have probably already played it on the channel. I said I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon. And people say... People are saying that Pal World is amazing. Like, it's a cool survival game. However, I said I'm not really the biggest fan of Pokemon. And, uh... I don't know anything. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's activate the healing park. Maybe we will play some Pal World. I'm not sure. Because it's from the same company. It is not from the same company that made Pokemon. The They made Craft, Craftopia? Or whatever else? It tastes buttery, creamy, and grassy. Maybe nutty sometimes. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what... Yeah, maybe that's an, an okay way to describe it. Uh, 
Okay, let's go probably to the third floor. I still have a few melee weapons. Wait, maybe let's go to the first floor. Maybe I'll get more melee weapons there. I completed your Days Gone playlist. Next, Days Gone, Hard Mode, Hordes. Perhaps one day we will return to Days Gone to check out Hard Mode, uh, Hordes. Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, let's skedaddle. It's like, what do you think of the new resource or events? I think they've added some cool stuff there. I don't know. That's my answer to the comment. I have no idea. I have no opinion about it. Welcome to the stream, though. It's like you have no opinion. I did not understand the comment. That's the first thing. We didn't get any new events or any new resources. That's the answer. However, if you think we've gotten awesome resources and awesome things, then power to you. More power to you. Uh, we need to get more melee weapons. I only have a baseball bat and that's it. Disgusting. Perhaps. Okay, let's get the coupons. I still don't have enough green though to open up a green crate. And I want to open up a green crate to get a melee weapon. Hmm. We have guns. We could take guns to Bunker Alpha. That would be worth it. Maybe we'll do it. I don't know. Well, let's drink a little bit of water. Let's get that out. Why my energy costs more than you in the same direction? Because of free to play and paid to win, says Lewis. I think somebody already answered that comment to you in the chat it's because of the VIP uh, let's go to the third floor I've seen people make vegan chocolate pudding with avocado excuse me sir vegan chocolate pudding alrighty oh we have eight weapon blueprints that's sick. I don't have a lot of water, so how about we get one bottle? Of, should have, could have probably found water anywhere in Bunker Alpha. Uh, let's get the saw blade maze. I just tried Bunker Bravo with my new account. It's still hard with the event and unmodded guns, but I got close to the boss on the third floor. Uh, I mean, you still have to know what you're doing, kinda. You have to know what to expect there, and you still have to have guns. If you have one Glock, obviously it'll be difficult. If you have a full inventory of Glocks, it's gonna be more doable. You still need to keep moving there, but it's definitely doable with fully unmodded Glocks. Whoops. I'm gonna deal with one fast biter and then I'll try to wall trick this other dude. Sometimes the most efficient way is not efficient at all. There we go. Avocado tastes like boiled egg, but worse in my opinion, says Alex. And the I like boiled eggs. But I can see the resemblance, maybe. Maybe the texture, kinda, maybe, not really. I don't know. All right, let's deal with our Toxic Bomb and then let's quickly switch to the other melee weapon. To this one. We could wall trick this dude, but it's just faster to deal with it this way. Not every single zombie here has to be wall trick. Just because you can wall trick that zombie doesn't mean you have to. However, these three guys. Okay. Now let's try to wall trick these guys. I'm gonna probably start healing up. And while we are healing up, I might as well get some damage.
I only have my baseball bat and that in this shovel and that's it. I'm pretty sure I can just get more stuff from the inbox if we still have anything there, but I want to keep those melee weapons for something else. I don't like taking out stuff from the inbox. It's usually for the emergencies, and maybe this is an emergency. Clear bond craft with no armor, only melee weapons, and only attack on bandages as a challenge. That is the best challenge I've heard. Thank you, Crow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That is really a good challenge. Dare I say a life-changing challenge. Thank you. Um, Brian's giant. Come here. We should be able to wall trick it in this spot. I'm just going to let this dude come a little bit closer. There we go. The wall is tricky. But we're doing it. Hopefully I don't die. That's all I have to say. Messi or Ronaldo? I think I've already answered this question many times. I don't know why people keep asking that all the same. Uh, the this question, quite often, I'd say, at least once a week, maybe twice a week. How do you play on PC? By getting an emulator. By getting an Android emulator. Just go on Google and type Android emulator and you'll see a lot of info about it. Okay, it's going to be... Yeah, I did get hit in the face. Disgusting. I did get the Glock, whatever. I'll just pop this dude. Maybe not optimal, but hey. That's okay. Ain't nobody got time to lead this dude all the way to that other wall and then wall trick it. Can he one-shot you with the raider armor? The Francis Giant? I don't think so. I doubt it. with this dude like this there's no need to wall trick this other toxic spitter perhaps we will also kill the blind one because then we can get more armor we can get an extra uh yeah we can get some more red tickets to get more guns and more armor it's like does the loot in the floppy crate depend on the reputation i am not 100 percent sure can you get do you unlock grenade launchers can you get grenade launchers without unlocking them I'm not sure. I am not 100% sure. Bro, play pal world. Absolutely. One day, perhaps, maybe. Not sure. We'll see. Okay, let's let these dudes come a little bit closer. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get another melee weapon from the from the inbox. I try on PC, but the game doesn't look smooth, and I have a good PC. What app do you use? I use Mimi Player. Wall tricking with these skull crushers is surprisingly fast, surprisingly easy. The the speed is 0 0.7, maybe that's why it's pretty fast. Okay, this armor is about to break. That's not cool. Hmm. 
buff the bow. We definitely need to have the better bows, absolutely. There should be a mod on the bow, right? Like, if they don't want to buff the bow, they should add the mod to the bow, like some sort of better arrows that would penetrate armor or whatever. Like, armor penetrating arrows, I don't know. Because mods for the bows are absolutely useless. However, if there was a mod that made these bows better, then more people would be using bows. Pal world is actually good, bro. I, I know that pal world is good. Did I ever say that it's bad? I'm sure pal world is great. I never said that it's bad. Okay, let's deal with the Prince of Giant. I put up a poll. Make sure to guys check out the poll. It'll be difficult to sneak attack this dude with the Skull Crusher. I shouldn't even try, probably. I shouldn't even try. I'm still gonna try, though. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit in the face. Oh no, I did not get hit in the face here. Nice. They have to go as far as possible, then turn around to make that attack even... Uh, even longer. And then it should be possible. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I put up a poll. Because some people asked me to play Pal World. And there is the answer, ladies and gentlemen. There is the answer. Um, Let's deal with one more friends giant. Oh, wow. Okay, let's heal up real quick using the, the, the buff. The special- Oh, no! Just healed up and got hit in the face again. That's not cool. That's no bueno. There's chocolate called bueno. I think it's good. Or maybe candy's buenos. I don't know how they're called. Cannot open that up. Is assembling the drone just the transport hub? Just for the transport hub worth it. Yes, I mean, the drone doesn't do anything else besides unlocking the transport hub. It can also follow you, but it's not that good. It's more of a gimmick. But yes, unlocking the drone for the transport hub is worth it. Because if you don't do that, then there's nothing much really to do in the game. The transport hub is pretty cool. Okay, let's get this strict diet perk. And we've just leveled up. We are level 83. We were a level 82 at the beginning. Now we're a level 83. Could have probably gotten a buff from the healer to get double the experience. But yet here I am. Let's go to weapons and let's get another melee weapon. We could get a machete, a katana, or a paddle. We're almost out of melee weapons. Let's get this machete. So as soon as this breaks, we'll get the machete. Let's get this dude. Hi, dad. Says so horse. Uh, hello. Welcome to the stream. I didn't know I was a dad. Welcome. Let's get this and let's... Uh, deal with this. Oh no, I don't have a saw blade mace. There's some of you called saw blade. Okay, let's then just wall trick it. Let's just wall trick it and that's it. Good morning, Psych. What is this spell world? No worries about it. It's a, it's a new survival game. I'm still surprised that some people don't know what a spell world. I mean, not maybe super surprised. And I don't want to raid other players, but on the map, whoops. No, oh, there, there it goes. I lost that comment, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna assume what was your question that you can do raids. Make sure to check out everything you need to know about last in Earth video. You need to be level 150 to raid. <sighs> yeah, level 150 to raid. Then you need to do raider tasks. The All the bases that you see on the map are bot bases. And also every other raid is bot bases. Everything is what? And the bases that you see on the map are like training wheels raids. You do those raids and then they disappear. Those are not real raids. But yeah, check out everything you need to know about last and Earth. And that video will lead you to how to raid... 
everything you need to know about raiding and whatever, and you will learn everything you need to know about raiding and how it all works. Hey, schmuck. Come here. We didn't really have to use the Glock here. Why don't you clear the third floor with a nade trick? I'm not really into those kind of tricks. Okay, let's get another red ticket. 37. Nothing wrong with that trick at all. Just, I don't want to do it. That's just about it. I just don't want to do it. Nothing personal. Nothing whatever. I just don't want to do it. Battery. Let's whatever get that battery with us. Let's also get this frenzy giant a little bit closer to us. Okay, that's not cool. I'm gonna let this dude come a bit closer. There we go. Now that's better. Now that's what I call a wall trick. You know what? Let's use this stupid crow uh, crowbar. We go. Let's break it. Because it's almost broken anyways, at least I'll have more space in the inventory and this thing won't go to waste. You forgot the French giant with the two boxes. Uh, where? Well, we'll run around. Maybe I'll find another French giant then. The one I've forgotten. I don't remember which one you're talking about, but we'll see. Oh, I know which one on the second floor down there at the bottom. Uh, where that was surrounded by toxic bombs. Yes, I ha I did not kill that French giant down there. Yes, now I remember that. The two boxes that you said. Yes, yes. How do you play this on PC? By using an Android emulator. Go on Google, type Android emulator, and you'll learn everything you need to know about Android emulators. Okay, the wall trick's doing way better than usual. Nice. These dudes got synced. Yeah, that went way better than it should have. It won't always be this easy to wall trick those three guys. Sometimes it's more difficult, sometimes they won't sync together. But hey, there we go, we did it. I'm wondering if there's... Uh, if there are Android emulators. Are there iOS emulators? I don't think so. Do settlement to this is yeah boy. Today we are on our free to play account. Today is the international free to play account day. What's the difference between Von Kral for normally and when you turn on the hard mode? Is it just more zombies? The zombies are more difficult and it's not worth it. into this room. Sick. Absolutely sick. Like, what did I miss? Hello, says Chamats. Welcome to the stream, Chamats. And you didn't miss much. Just me unlocking the helicopter, and that's about it. Okay, we need to heal up. And I'm out of armor again. We gotta go to the top to get another armor. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Eggs? Uh, fish. And I don't know, maybe quinoa, maybe pasta. Probably pasta. Okay, well, 
I'll have to kill these zombies without any armor now. Not cool. Maybe I'll just use this Glock real quick. Just to save some healing items, so that's what I'll do. Just so that I can get to this door a lot faster. There we go. Take some canned cheese. Yes, if I could, I would take it. Let's go back to the first floor and let's get another set of armor. Okay, another box. We are progressing like crazy in the season pass. It's cool that we are getting Genesis weapons here. We need those Genesis weapons for the transport hub if we ever level up. <laughs> it, uh, if we ever grow up to go to that transport hub. Um, armor, armor, armor. We're gonna open up those crates as soon as I'm done clearing the, the place. As soon as I'm done clearing the third floor. And we're almost done clearing it, so no worries about that. And then I'll be able to open up all the crates, right? I just need one more yellow. I'll be able to open up green, yellow, and the red crate. Sick. It's like, it's free to play worth. Thanks for your financial advice, says Calvin Brown. Welcome to the stream. And is the free to play worth it? Yes, it's absolutely worth it. Let's go to the third floor. It's like, where do you get drone parts? What drone parts uh, do you have in mind? To upgrade your drone from the transport hub. If you want to unlock your drone, you have to clear the laboratory. Okay, let's get this toxic bomb. I wanted to save this auto healing park for the other room, but hey, here I am. I'm not even gonna maybe clear that room. What's the point to bother with that room? Oh lord, the baseball bat is so weak. Do you think I should assemble a 3x3 steel room for raiding or assemble the drone first? Uh, up to you. Maybe the chat can help you with that one. Whoops, I just wanted to switch to another weapon and wasted a first aid kit. Disappointment is immeasurable. I know he loves giving financial advice. I do love giving financial advice. That's what I live for. When I wake up, the reason I move out of bed is to give more financial advice to people. Very excited about financial advice. No mods on that bat. Nope, we don't have any mods. And we have 27 yellow. I think that's enough. We don't even need to clear that other room. Uh, yeah, let's just open up the crates. But I mean, it'll be better if we kill those dudes. Maybe we'll get some green coupons for the next time. Okay, let's thin out the, the crowd. Okay. It's like say five things, not things, but things you want to change in Last and Earth's graph. Check out the most almost recent video in Last and Earth. Go to the channel and you'll find the 15 things. It's like told me to sell the kidney to buy the metal room, so I did. He's the best uh, person for advice. I love him, says Chamak. I'm glad that you took that advice. I'm glad you're enjoying your steel room. Some people are out there enjoying their kidneys, and yet Chamak is enjoying his steel room right now. 
Can we do the corner trick in this corner? I guess we could if I move fast enough, maybe. But let's just skedaddle. Could have gotten hit. Uh, Could have gotten hit in the face there. How many free to play uh, free to play counts you've made? Yes, more than I should have. Actually, not enough than I should have, to be honest. If I could go back in time, I'd make more free to play accounts. Not gonna lie. Definitely. So no, the answer is I did not make enough of them. Friends, giant, another red ticket. And on that note, the third floor is done. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. What do you have to do in the settlement? Uh, things and stuff. Let's get that. The pack of smokes will stay here. I forgot a room in the near the blind one. Yeah, 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 that room. On the second floor. Okay, let's kill another Frenzy Giant there. Sorry, is it worth it to buy the premium pass? Extremely worth it. Make sure to buy it. If you don't have the money, steal it. Wait, that's on the third floor, not on the second floor. I'm an idiot. Need more financial advice? Let me know. Let's go up there. What is your favorite thing in last and clearing Bunt Kralfa? Clearing Bunt Kralfa, that's my favorite thing. Said probably no one ever. I mean, you've got two kidneys. It's better to have one kidney and one metal room, says Chamak. Yes, indeed. Alpha is the place where you spawn and when you die. Is that right? Yes, that is absolutely right. I was born in Bunker Alpha and I'll die in Bunker Alpha. Okay, we need... Uh, I only have this broken Glock. Might as well just use it. We'll trick him with the Glock on this free-to-play account over here only right now. Smash like, smash subscribe. Whoops, I got hit in the face. Just a yellow ticket. Disgusting. Ah, new pants, whatever. I'm not taking those. Out of which locations were you most excited for? Bunker, laboratory, or transport? I mean, it's easy, Bunker Bravo. Like, we were waiting for Bunker Bravo for three years. It's been always there on the map since day one. So, people wanted Bunker Bravo. I wanted Bunker Bravo. Everybody wanted Bunker Bravo. It's one of the biggest updates. Probably ever. So, of course, Bunker Bravo is... Uh, made me more uh, the most excited. The second most exciting place... I mean, I did like the laboratory. I think laboratory was the second most exciting place. However, it's bad. Out of those three places, the transport hub... Which was the least exciting because it came out of nowhere, kinda. And uh, same with the laboratory, it kinda came out of nowhere. But the transport up is the best out of all three of them. Well, Bunker Bravo gives you ATV parts. So there's that. Is this your new free-to-play account or the n no inventory? It's my normal free-to-play account. So, ladies and gentlemen, now let's give him all of these tickets just to get the the floppy crate. The reward list. So, have I already gotten a floppy crate on this account? I don't even remember. 
I think I've already gotten a fra floppy crate on this account, maybe. I think so. I haven't opened up the crates. I'm, s I'm a donut. An absolute donut. I'll leave these coupons and whatever other stuff here. I'll drop some fuel in the chopper. Maybe we'll even get the... the rest up event today. Probably be dropped here in one of these crates. That's all right. However, the food will stay with me. I want to bring that stuff back to the base. And the armor. I'll have to come back to the top anyways. But hey. Let's go. Let's open up all three crates now. Could have dropped some green and yellow tickets to have even more space, but that's all right. So we could get the tactical backpack on this account today by clearing the arena event, maybe. We have enough guns for it. We have plenty. We could do it. We have enough armor. We have enough healing items. So we could do it. Maybe we will do it. Uh, let's get the first aid kits. Another Glock. Another set of armor. Um, two Glocks. Another set of armor. And here we're going to get four guns. Three hem 16s And one Glock. Alrighty, let's get all of this stuff and let's try to bring the rest of the resources to the top now. I'm thinking about killing the blind one. We could get 10 more red tickets and next time it would be a lot easier for us to open up a red crate. Which again, by killing the blind one, we don't really get guns. Because you do get 10 red tickets, however, you do use like one, two guns to kill the blind one. Because by the time you get to the blind one, you have to use some guns here and there, so... It's not that efficient. However, you do get armor from the red crates, not only guns. Okay, we have a few AKs. I don't have any VSSs though, that's the problem. And getting VSSs is pretty tricky, unless I have some VSSs in my inbox. Do I have at least a single VSS? No, I have zero VSS, ladies and gentlemen. Zero. Zero. An absolute zero. And we could get some purple mods in this account as well. Oh lord, we can get five steel plates, which are kind of bad. I'd rather get the carbon composites than this stuff. We can get some other loot. Uh. No VSSs, but one grenade launcher. That's true, we do have a grenade launcher. However, we're not going to use that grenade launcher on, on those bosses there. Okay, we have gotten a lot of loot. We don't have space to store guns here, so we'll need to store some stuff in the chopper, but I can't store them in the chopper either. I don't have space for that. So Bunker Alpha is getting filled with guns. We'll need to start bringing those guns. Oh, we can actually store guns here now. Okay. Forget about it. We're going to store the tickets here as well. Let's also drop the random loot here. I'll come back for it later. Uh, 
Uh, whatever, I'm gonna keep the caps. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we have gotten a ridiculous amount of loot from Bunker Alpha. An insane amount of loot. That's why you should be clearing your Bunker Alpha. Whatever, let's get the paint. Do I need to use this? Nope. We can get that for later and... Uh, I don't need the paint. That's it. Where you got the military backpack, I don't have enough steel to craft it. Check out everything you need to know about last generation. You will get that military backpack eventually. It's pretty easy to get. You can probably even get one from the season pass, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe you don't. Well, you do get the military backpack. It's pretty common. Okay, maybe I'm gonna bring this set of armor back to the base. And we need to drop some other resources in these lockers. Alright. Um, what do I bring? We'll need to bring AKs back to the base. I'm gonna take these AKs because we need them for the arena event. If I will be clearing the arena event today on this account. Like, it's nice to get a tactical backpack. But do we have any other events that give us tactical backpacks? Hmm. The supply event. That'll be a lot of Glocks. We'll need an entire inventory of Glocks. Just for the tactical backpack. Like, it's nice to get it. And we also can get blueprints. But I don't really need blueprints in this account. At least not yet. Well, in any case, I'm gonna bring some more guns to the base anyways. Maybe I'll bring more guns instead of the armor, but I also want to bring some armor to the base. More Glocks and a few of these M16s. There we go, just so that we have more guns at the base as well. And we don't have any food, so I'll need to bring more healing items here. And how about we bring some more iron? There we go, and what about the fuel? Okay, so we only have six more canisters of fuel here. Cool. Let's take that and some aluminum wires, whatever. Or aluminum bars instead of those aluminum wires. The song still slaps, says Lila. It do be like that. The Emperor's new shoes, they'll always slap. I just unlocked stage three for expeditions. Very nice, congrats. Do items lose durability when you die? No, they don't. It depends where you die. If you die in Bunker Alpha, you won't lose any loot. If you die in the green zones or in these, like, in the forest zones, in the stone zones, you will lose all of your loot. Because these locations reset every time you leave them. So, there's that. Open the blueprints. We do have six blueprints, so we could open up some blueprints in this account. Okay, first of all, let's drop more guns. Oh lord, the the, the, the box is full. Ah! Cannot upgrade it to, to a higher level because, first of all, we'll need to have the stone floors. And it's not that expensive, we just need some steel bars. Hmm. Just to make more space, we're gonna get rid of these two guns and I'll drop them here. The chopper event. Wait, do we have the chopper event outside? I need to go to that chopper event then if we have it. I didn't really see. 
If we have the chopper event, I absolutely have to go there. It's the chopper event after all. Uh, should have brought perhaps the the caps. Steel requires copper. We do have some copper. I haven't even built the refined melting furnace yet. Okay, I'm gonna get another Glock. We do have one VSS for one of the bosses. Okay, let's get another Glock for that event. And we have the first aid kits. I'd rather get the bandages instead of the first aid kits. So let's get that. You have asbestos in two different chests. We could probably combine them. That would be more efficient. That's true. Okay, I'm going to leave these things here and I'll bring the fuel back to the base. Is a refined melting furnace worth it? Yes. Yes, it is worth it. Let's drop the fuel here. Okay, where do I, do I store my asbestos? Here. Oh, it's full, that's why. Also need to farm here to get other things. And the fuel. We also have some carbon composites in this account. Dude, we're bowling. We are bowling. When you reach level 150, you get raided even if you didn't raid anyone or you don't if you don't raid. You won't get raided if you don't raid. As I said, make sure to check out everything you need to know video. Link is in the description. And the chopper event. Oh no, that's the John Carrot event. Disappointed. Disappointment is immeasurable. We still have a few more bases to raid. We have this base there. We have a base here. But they don't really have any great loot. So perhaps we will raid them one day. But today is not the day. Okay, let's go back to the base. Let's get some more aluminum plates. Let's get the aluminum plates. Uh, and let's, let's go back here and we're gonna progress just a little bit in that settlement because we have to. Your everything you need to know video is really helpful, says Utkars. I'm glad you found it helpful. Uh, I, I cannot do anything in the assembly yet because I need to get my wood. Let's build this. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. There's the assembly and we can build this control desk here. Was the other task? Build an assembly table. No. Please tell me it's not that huge. I don't have the resources for it. We need more aluminum plates and more Iron uh, beams or whatever they're called. Iron billets. We need more iron billets and we need more pine beams. Okay, then let's get more pine beams. And more iron billets. So I'll need some charcoal for that to fire this thing up. Junkyard event for the noob is extra cringe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's get this. I do have only two iron billets, so that's not a lot of iron billets at all. Uh, we'll get a stack of this. Should have probably kept it here. Whatever. Let's go to the base. Let's get a stack of charcoal and we'll come back here. <laughs> Someone flying in the room. We still have some aluminum bars. I'll need more. I'm probably gonna just transform all of them into aluminum plates. Let's do that. And the charcoal. Yes. We'll also need to get some healing items because we are running low on healing items here.
Uh, where do I store my wood? I've forgotten here, probably. Okay, we're running out of planks as well. We do have a stack of charcoal. That's good. That's enough. Let's go back. I am curious, what is the other task once we are done building that assembly table? I'll build it. I don't want to build it, but I'll build it. I'll build that assembly table. I'll plop it here. I'm curious if I'll be able to be done with this uh, settlement task, whatever. Just by having these 2x2 two two rooms. I don't want to expand it to 3x3 three three because I don't really care about the settlement in this account. So we'll see if that'll be possible. If that doesn't work, then hey, I'll expand the base. But if I don't have to expand it, hopefully. Let's say hopefully I don't have to expand it. Yes. Let's drop this here. here we have five iron billets total. Because I have three there and uh, two in the box. So assembly table. Yeah, we need one more iron billet. We need more aluminum plates, which we will get. And then we need more pine beams. And then we'll be able to get this assembly table. And I'm pretty sure on that assembly table we need to get some more pine beams and get like some screws because the game will want me to assemble something random again. Oh lord. Let's see how we'll do this. And then finally the air support tasks will begin. Sadly, we don't even get a single flight controller for free. Sick. Okay, we are thirsty. Let's go back to the base. My dude is thirsty. How about a little bit of water? Okay, there we go. Two bottles of water. Oh, wow, I have no idea why this rain catcher is so far away. Okay, we got to get some more loot. And we can get more loot by doing a little bit of police department. We can get some melee weapons. And if we get an airdrop event, I'll definitely do that airdrop event. The airdrop event for life. Uh, sadly, I didn't take any worse armor, so we'll have to go to the police department with this armor. Could get a few guns to open to get a few crates there, but is it worth it? Well, I'm just gonna get a few Glocks. I could recycle this low, low durability Glock on this recycler. However, is it worth it? I doubt it. We could still use it a little bit. The rest up. We still haven't gotten the rest up event. That was the junkyard event. That wasn't the rest up event. Um, God, I don't want to leave these broken guns at the base because they just take space. Unless I build a box just for the broken guns. Okay, whatever. Let's get the M16s. It's not like they're very useful. Let's get this Uzi. That's maybe too many items. I don't really want to spend that many guns on bunker on the on the police department. Let's craft another shovel. You know, just to limit myself, I'm gonna drop more guns here. I don't really need... I don't want to use that many. And I'll drop the Glock as well and another Glock. I'll take only two guns and that's it. There we go, I'm ready. And then we need more carrots. Okay, let's start cooking those carrots. There we go. At least we'll have some food. At least a little bit of food. Yeah, we also need more wood. <gasps> Let's get the canned food. We got the first aid kits. We got this stuff. Okay, that, that should be kind of enough to do some random stuff at the PD. When will you craft the grip mod? I don't know. It's kind of expensive for now. I'm just gonna not craft it. Maybe I'll craft it later. For now, I don't think it's worth it to craft it. I think it's worth it if you don't need spare parts and Winchesters. 
I think it is worth it if you don't need spare parts in Winchesters. What's worth it? I don't even know what we're talking about. If it's worth it to recycle the Winchesters, somebody asked. I don't know. In any case, let's go to the PD. From the PD, maybe we'll get an airdrop. Airdrops ev airdrop events are also great. Oh, and I forgot him to open up the mods. Let's first of all open up the infinite crates. We've gotten a free Glock here. Boggers. We've gotten another bike skin that I'll probably never assemble. Because I don't even have a garage in this account. I don't care about it. I'm not crafting that garage anytime soon. Let's get all of these eight mods. We have some more aluminum plates. That's huge. I'll be able to use them on that settlement. We have some iron billets and pine beams. <sighs> We can get those iron billets, pine beams, and other stuff, and we can build that table, and we can start working on the settlement and to, to progress further through the survivor's path. I don't want to progress through there, but we have to. So that's what we'll do. We have to take steps towards that ATV, right? If the goal is to get the ATV, we got to get the ATV. Okay, let's open all of these mods, and let's see which ones we got. Some of the mods... Like for example, this reinforced grip from the from the from the zip gun. It's just better to give this thing to the specialist. Maybe we'll get at least a better blueprint because we don't really need to read that blueprint for the AK side times two. We're gonna read this. I think it's a nice solid blueprint, solid common blueprint. The Winchester blueprint, like it doesn't matter. The zip gun blueprint, it doesn't matter. Another thing doesn't matter. Handle with the tape doesn't matter. Red dot sight. I'll read that. And the scar blueprint silencer. I probably don't need that either. So there we go. These blueprints can be given to the specialist. So that's what I'll do. Yeah, let's give that stuff to the specialist then. And now let's kill here a couple of zombies. And let's see if we can open up at least a few brown. Or in the... I'd love to open up green, maybe even blue. It all depends what kind of cards I'll get here. Zip guns and Winchesters are good against Frenzy Giants. Yes, but you don't have to modify those zip guns and Winchesters to use them against Frenzy Giants. Six useless blueprints for one spear mod. Exactly. Six useless blueprints for one useless blueprint. Welcome to Last in Earth Survival. At least these zombie officers don't restore their health as they do in the transport hub. Okay, didn't get any... Okay, this dude restores his health. Could wall trick it, or... But I should have cleared the other room first instead of going, coming here. Oh wow, that Uzi just melted. It has no durability. Why we have mods for spears? I don't have the slightest clue. Don't know why we have mods for spears. Okay, we can open this up because I think we have burglar level one. So that is something. We've gotten some thick fabric. Another brown card. It'd be cool if we could just recycle the thick jacket for something useful. And I'm not saying just one rope. Or this hat. Hmm. I want to take this hat now and that jacket. If I run out of space, I will drop them. It, we have enough armors. It's not like we need a lot of armors anyways. We already have lots of stuff at Bunker Alpha. Like two lockers, they're full with armors, so... There is that. Free to play, ATV? Yes, in five years, maybe we'll we'll get it. We're not thinking about days or months or weeks or whatever. We're thinking about years. We're thinking in years, maybe even decades. How to wall trick. Make sure to check out everything you need to know about last generous video. Deal with this guy. And will I be able to sneak attack this dude? I never remember. Oh yes, we can. 
Okay, it still doesn't explode. What's cool is that when this zombie starts exploding... Sorry, don't give them ideas! It's cool that when this zombie starts exploding, it doesn't chase you. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, if these zombies were chasing you. Hmm? Just think about it. Developers! Why aren't these zombies chasing us? Imagine when they start exploding, they start chasing you. That way you'd have to run away and they become a lot faster. So you get exploded no matter what you do. That's what we need in the game. That's what we need. First aid kits and the battery glue, whatever. Whatever. Don't give them ideas, Cyric. It's too late. Pandora's box is open. Okay, at least I was able to sneak attack that dude at least once. It'll take forever. Okay, at least we turned on that healing park in time. Kind of in time. Could have used it even better, I assume. Okay, so there's only one more zombie left there. There we go. Let's get two keys and no chest to loot here. So, so far we've only gotten five brown cards, which is disappointing. That's all I have to say. Very disappointing. Let's pop the jailbird. Oh no, the brawler. Wait, brawlers don't give any cards, do they? Yeah, they never drop anything. Oh wow, they, the dude does a lot of damage. Okay, let's hide behind the wall. gonna clear that other room however i am gonna open up this one and this cell he can't work for kefir because he actually plays the game says kefir but oof just roasted all of them there oof. Oof. we've gotten a tank top looks like new it's dirty we could get that tank top I remember I wanted to get a tank top on my main account and I did not have it. I don't even know if I still have a tank top on my main account. Maybe I've deleted it. Or maybe I do have it. I'm not sure. In any case, let's get these both jailbirds. And let's sort of wall trick them real quick. And I did bring both of these guns. So maybe I will do one or two waves. However, I'm not really sure if it's worth it. Probably it's not really worth it. I should probably save these guns, to be honest. For... For something more useful than just doing like five or something waves, but hey, I'll do it. Because I don't want to be opening up brown cards. However, if I don't get any green or more brown, I will open up brown. I'm not going to save eight brown so that I can open up another green next time. gonna stop it what's the delay with the healing okay uh. in any case we did it we should play horror games i think i've played some horror games on the channel uh let's start this floor this wave and yeah let's try to do a couple of waves not too many waves just a few waves That's why I've only taken two guns here. And another brown. Disappointing. Um, let's get this Uzi. Okay, 
Okay, let's try to kill most of them. Well, let's at least just damage them. Let's get the shovel. Again, somebody's flying care! Who are they? It's like you should shower. Uh, let's start the third floor. And my armor is about to break. Okay, not cool. Let's get the M16. Let's damage this guy just a bit. Let's get this broken shovel. The dude does only two damage, so it's not that bad. Uh, pipe. Welcome home, pipe. We still have a little bit of durability in our armor. As soon as the armor breaks, then I'll use way too many healing items. I don't want to do that. However, I don't think I have a choice. Let's go for the wave number four. Right, let's deal with these guys now, guys. I'd like to kill the brawler first, and then we can deal with these guys with melee weapons, but I, I'm running out of armor anyways. So perhaps this will be even the last wave that I do. Hopefully I get a green card. If I don't, then I just wasted these two guns. Probably I just, yeah, that's it, I just wasted. Oh no. We can still do one more wave. Whatever, let's go for it. This will be the last wave. I'm literally gambling at this point. Oh no, my armor. My poor, poor. And this guy, the shielded schmuck. Okay, this dude will pop very soon. Okay, at least as I said, they don't chase us when they explode. And there we go, we only have this rad zombie. Yeah, wasted two guns, like one and a half gu uh, guns on this PD. It's definitely not worth it. I could have saved those guns for something better. Oh my goodness, the game just... The first thing. Ah. <laughs> Why? I was this close. I want to get the loot. Unless the game gets unstuck. I doubt it though. It's it's stuck. It does happen. Yesterday it got stuck when we were fighting the minor boss of the transport up on our main account. And this time it got stuck here when I was fighting the zombie. Disgusting. Uh, let's probably restart the game. There's nothing I can do about it. The game was like, nope. Rip cards. Maybe I can pick them up. Maybe. Or maybe I cannot pick them up. Nope, it didn't allow me to even log in here, so I need to restart the whole emulator. Thanks, game. Thanks, whatever. Your cards are gone. Well... Amazing. Just phenomenal. I wasted two guns. I mean, I still have my cards in my own inventory, though. I have my, like, brown cards. I'll be able to at least open up, like, six or something brown cards. I won't be able to open up any green, though. You're ruining it. The game is ruining it. I agree. There we go. We still have nine brown at least. Even if I get one more brown, like what? I'll open up one green. Is it better to open up one green or three, four brown? I'm back in the arena. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, homie. Brown card. I have no idea why that happened. Maybe because the game crashed. We have 11 brown. And I still have some durability in my M16. We could go for another wave, but there's no way that'll be enough. And uh, I don't want to open up one green and one... Br yeah, let's open up one green and one brown. I'd rather open up maybe three brown, but whatever. Let's just surrender. That's something. I don't think it was worth it, though. For real. Maybe it's just better to open up three brown or four brown. But I'll open up one green. Whatever. Let's go for it. Let's trade it. So it's not worth it to use some guns there. 
Let's open up one of those and one of those. Bzzz. The brown crate has given us a few bandages, a cleaver, some random resources, and here we've got an, a Glock and a saw blade maze. That was a W crate, in my humble opinion. Plus, we've gotten a muzzle blade break blueprint for our M16. For real road to ATV. It'll take us many years, many moons. But maybe one day we'll get the ATV. I doubt it, though. It's mostly for a joke. Oh, I can't equip this. I'm a donut. I didn't even see that. Okay. Uh, these things. Okay, why do I need to assemble this locker? I need more bolts that I could bring back to the base to build more boxes. So I kind of don't want to use those bolts here. Uh, plastics. No other stuff. I do. My, I might need plastics. But I can't take anything. I need to get rid of these blueprints first and then I'll have more space. Hmm. Oh, I have one food and one of those. There we go. We just stacked some items. And one aluminum plate. We got two more batteries that I could perhaps recycle another day. Now, either batteries or three glue. I'd rather get glue instead of these... The, the one transistor. I think that's it. I've gotten the the best loot possible there. There we go. Let's skedaddle. So was the PD worth it? I've used the gun and a half. We've gotten gun in return. So it's probably maybe wasn't even worth it. Yeah, using... I don't know. Difficult. Difficult to say. Sometimes you will get a green card. Sometimes if you get lucky, maybe you'll even get a blue crate. But not always. It's just better to probably save your guns and do more waves with grenades and grenade launchers. Then you will profit. Like, when you do more waves... The more waves you do, the more you profit, especially with grenade launchers and grenades. And I already have one grenade launcher in the inventory, so that's already like 16 waves. We need to go to the motel to get another grenade. Once we get like 50 grenades, 60 grenades, we can do at least 60 waves and... That'll be a good day. Are 10 brown badges worth it for a green? Yep. They're worth it. Depends, but they're worth it. How many times did you do Bunker Bravo before the ATV? On my main account, 30 times. I've cleared Bunker Bravo at least 30 times. Okay. Let's drop these mods. And I've gotten only one blueprint and this blueprint gave me the saw blade mace a diamond blade whatever let's just learn it but i have more space maybe i can take more stuff from these crates but i think i've already taken everything besides the pa besides the paint i don't need the paint forgotten to loot the trash bin uh another ticket and nothing useful here Sublet blueprint. Yes, indeed, we have gotten the sublet blueprint. And we've gotten the airdrop event, so we gotta go to the airdrop. That's basically the free-to-play life, and you have to do this thing every time Bunker Alpha resets. Like, literally these exact same steps. Drop transistor and the thing. Oh, yeah, we could have maybe uh, assembled the the other conveyor, but that's all right. We also need to go to the motel, and we also need to clear the farm. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Before we do any of that, though, we also need to get carrots. We need to get trees. Dude, the grind is real. The amount of grind you have to do is insane. You have to live. You have to breathe this game. Even two hours a day is not enough. The daily carbons and factory parts look so good. That is true. However, by the time you unlock those daily factory parts and other stuff, you will probably have already enough weapons and other stuff in the game. But yeah, getting a daily factory part from the transport up is kind of cool. But yeah, by the time you unlock them, you will most likely already have enough loot in the game.
I mean, if I didn't have my main account, like, I would be grinding more in the free-to-play account. Let's say that's how I got loot in my main account. I grinded really, really a lot there, and... Uh, yeah, we've gotten most of the loot. We've gotten a lot of loot that way. I was able to craft one or two steel rooms before I even uh, bought any other steel rooms. In any case... Let's get the machete, the stone bricks, and some other loot. Okay, there we go. We have some space for grass. Is an ATV with free-to-play even possible? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna pick up one more plane fiber just so that I come back home with something. With a stack of plane fiber, I'll be able to transform that into pieces of cloth. Actually, let's get more plane fiber while we're at it. Oh my goodness, why did I use the healing thing? I thought it's the the auto mode. And then we'll need to get just a little bit of wood. Just a tiny bit of wood. Do I have any wood in the inbox? Maybe I have some. We have zero, ladies and gentlemen. Total zero. Plus we have some carbon composites. And some stones, but we got zero wood. So I'll have to get at least a few stacks. There's also some deer here. I gotta get them. I gotta get them for meat. Um, whatever, then forget about grass. Leather is cool as well. Could get that leather instead of beans. <sighs> what could I get that leather instead of what? Instead of one robber part. I don't think I'll need it anytime soon. Just sold my brain for last and it wasn't worth it. Absolutely. I totally think it was worth it. Yo, insane. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we have milked this airdrop. We've gotten some seeds. That's basically a stack of carrots. We also can get some... One bandage, right? Stack of plain fibers is one bandage, no? Because from stack of plain fibers, you can get five pieces of cloth. And five pieces of cloth is one bandage. So stack of plain fiber is one bandage. That, that's ridiculous! That's nothing! However... Picking grass going full circles is insane. Yes, indeed. Is Jack of all trades good for late game? I mean, it depends uh, what level he's at. I think most of the mercenaries are going to be good at high level. So it depends if you level them up. But Jack of all trades has a lot of health and he has that shield. So he's pretty cool if you can level him up high enough. Just as every other mercenary. Some mercenaries are probably bad even when you level them up, maybe. Uh, let's get that grass in the sewing machine. Where is it? Wait, don't tell me I don't have a sewing machine here on this. I do have a sewing machine on this account. I knew it. Can't tell me otherwise. Okay, we don't have enough space in the chests. So how about we craft a few bandages because we have a lot of pieces of cloth. So let's craft, I don't know, a few of them. Alrighty, now the bandages can go here. The carrots can grow here. And the meat can dry here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it. We're getting resources. We're progressing. Slowly. But surely. More leather. I also need another pair of boots, so let's get these boots. Let's try to drop some loot inside of these chests. Uh, 
I already said that we need to go to the outside to get more wood and other stuff, but before we do that, uh, how about we progress even more in that settlement? Hmm? That sounds good enough to me. Okay, I don't store any batteries here. Or let's store that here. Let's get aluminum. And I have iron billets and other stuff for the settlement, so let's fast travel there. It's like sorting items, big double. Yeah, I always sort items on my main account and on this account. I even suggest... Yeah, I even suggested plenty of times to all the newcomers. Start sorting out your chests. It's pretty cheap to craft chests. The more chests you craft, the easier it is to sort out your base. So there's that. Okay, we need... Uh, these things from the inventory. So let's get them. Let's get aluminum plates. Let's get iron billets and pine beams. Free to play account numero 12 says insane. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe 13th account? I don't know. I mean, 13th account may be coming out soon. And craft a light frame. Can I get through here? Oh no, oh no. I know what I can do though. Maybe there was a better way to, oh no, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm a donut. I I am a donut. Aren't I? I am a donut. For a second I thought that's it. I am a genius. I'm not a genius. I could just get another door here, but by crafting that door I will... Why developers? This is so annoying. Why... They don't allow us to move these walls. Why not? Why can't I just take this wall and move it to another room? Why do I have to destroy this wall? This is so silly. And why do these rooms have to be separated? Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Craft another room. Thank you. Thank you. I would have never thought of that. Uh, we need some screws now. Do we even have any screws? I'm curious what else we need after this this thing. Okay, we do have a stack of screws. That's not bad. The settlement is actually really fun when you start getting good. The settlement is extremely fun. Look at all the fun I'm having here. Uh, let's go here. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, we can start getting this light frame and after the light frame, I don't know what's the other task. We'll probably get, we'll have to get again something stupid. We still don't have, what other room I don't have? I have the assembly room. I do not have the workshop room. I'll definitely have to craft the workshop. The game will move to craft the workshop. I'll need to get more pine beams. Totally. Okay, how about we flip this again? I am a genius, ladies and gentlemen. A bloody genius. Let's get more planks. And the game got stuck again. No! What? What's up? What's going on? Redunculous. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. All I wanted to do is uh, grind in the settlement. And I can't even do that. The game crashed twice. <sighs> what could that possibly mean? Free-to-play scarce. Yes, that's what it means. Some guy, yes. The free-to-play is scarce. The game heard what you said. That I'm having fun? That I'm having fun in the free-to-play account in that settlement.
Wisdom has always been chasing you, but it seems you are faster, says Martuza. Thank you. I'm very fast. And by that comment, it proved your point, right? But I, I'm just gonna roll with the joke. I'll humor you. The most annoying zombie in the settlement is the dude who heals up. He heals 250. The zombie in the settlement? Now oh, the those expeditions. We did something, ladies and gentlemen. That's for sure. There we go. We've worked on the settlement. We did something. Not too much, but that's honest work. Then I'm sure we'll need to grow. Uh, we'll need to do another room. We'll need to grow another room. We'll need to build here another room. And, uh, yeah, we'll need to build that workshop. That'll be another task. So the workshop will require a lot of other things. We'll need to build the, the workshop desk, then the montage stable. And then I think we might be done with the settlement thing. Okay, let's go back home. Nice settlement base, says yeah, boy. It is an amazing settlement base. I took the minimalistic approach and hopefully it'll suffice. If it doesn't, then well, I'll expand it then. But I have high hopes that that'll be enough. Okay, so let's go outside and let's hope that perhaps we'll get the chopper event. Maybe we'll get it. Sometimes you get it twice and I want to get that chopper event. Would be good. Would be very cool to get it. I'm not asking for much. But all I want is the chopper event. You do have to upgrade to level 2. Nah, even my main... You don't have to upgrade to level 2. I didn't upgrade anything to level 2 on my main account and I finished the survivor's path. So there's no way you have to upgrade the stuff to level 2. Unless you do have to upgrade walls to level 2, then I'll always be stuck there. And the chopper event, non-existent. Disappointment is immeasurable. Should I start building boats? Up to you. If you want to build boats, you can build boats. You can get into the boat building business. Should I start building boats? Let's get this. Yeah, whatever. I'll get just three hatchets and I'm ready to roll outside. Go, let's farm. Do you use a different emulator for the free to play? I use the same emulator, but it's a different instance. So it's like having. It's the same emulator, but it just installs itself twice, basically. Same emo player, but it's just installed twice. Kinda. Okay, let's go to the green zone. We're gonna get some deer, perhaps. You should play free-to-play Bunker Bravo. There will be free-to-play Bunker Bravo. Except not yet, we, we have other priorities before going to that free-to-play Bunker Bravo. No way farming wood with Sire. I mean, we do farm Ashwood on our main account. So the same thing farming here, except it's much faster. Farming ash trees takes much more time, like farming basic wood is so much faster. Plus I got pretty lucky, a bunch of trees here in one spot. A related question, I need carbon composites for the boat. Where to farm a Bravo game before in this event, any other place? It is difficult to get them, but you already know that's the best place to get carbon composites and it'll take your time to get them. That's about it. You can recycle full durability guns. I'm um, again. The game crashed again! 
Disappointment! What's going on? And I guess on that note, guys, we will be wrapping up. <laughs> the game crashed three times. The third time's a charm. Well, I just wanted to farm, but there's that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining here. See you tomorrow, probably, with another Last Earth Survival video. Maybe there will be more free to play content. I am not sure. I doubt it. Maybe. Maybe there will be some free to play content. Maybe there won't be free to play content. I don't know. It depends. We'll see. It was interesting to grind in the free-to-play account. But it's also fun to grind on my main account, too, to do more fun things. I don't know. You need to turn off bonsai body. What's a bonsai body? I'm a little bit lost. Well, in any case, thanks for joining here. See you tomorrow. Another video or a live stream. Probably a live stream. We'll see. So, take care, everybody. Thanks for smashing likes. But sorry, I didn't smash it. We still have time then. So yeah, smash the like button and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, peeps. Take care and peace out. Bonsai body was a boomer widget. I have no idea what that is. Do I look like a boomer though? I'm still in my early 20s. Actually, I'm 16. So take care and peace out, everybody.